every once in a while you put your life out there and things don't always turn out the way you thought they would. I got a real eye opener and that was a video I did recently and I took that video down. I think it's been a long time since I did a video and took it down. But I got something I want to share with all of you. And I want to just share with you where we're going from here on out and a new policy that I have in my life and in my channel. I decided to sit in the greenhouse. It's so warm in here. It's like 78 degrees. It's about 45 outside, but it is absolutely so warm in here. This is a video that I did not have scheduled to put out, but I wanted to share with you a little bit of where I'm going from here. I did a video recently, just the other day, and I took that video down because I had to, because, well, through the night, people were attacking what I had to say. Now, if you didn't see the video on where I was sharing about that I like the pellets of Tractor Supply, which I always say this, and it's such a benign video. I was not calling any controversy. I was just explaining that in life, you know, take everything with a grain of salt and not everything you see online is the truth and whatever I went into all of that because I was sharing with you my heart. And if I would have said something really negative, then I would have said how this is awful and that's awful. I would have got a lot of views. People would have agreed with me. But because I went against the grain of some other people and I said that for me, the tractor supply pellets have done amazing. Um, for me, this worked great. I was attacked and it was not fair. And through the night, the I'm really at a loss to how to say this because I don't want to say it, but yet I do need to say it. Large channels or certain people came onto my channel to cause disruption and to attack what I was saying and attack other people. I don't go for that. I'm not in YouTube to try to get the clickbait and I'm not into YouTube to try to get dramatic views and get people bickering back and forth. That's not me. I'm 53 years old. I'm too old. I'm too old for people to have controversy back and forth on my channel to cause each other to be upset. That's not what I'm about. I had a loss with that video because I took it down simply because anybody who agreed with me, then they were trying to attack them and saying all of this stuff. So I made a new policy and the new policy is I am never going to speak about anything in the world again. I am not going to speak about anything. I'm not giving my opinion because my opinion, it matters to those of you who care about me and are close to me. But in the real sense of it, when it comes up against these large channels or go, come against these other people, my opinion doesn't matter. I don't matter, you know, and I'm not, it's not worth it for me. It's just simply not worth it. I, I don't want controversy and drama. I really didn't think when I talked about how to take care of chickens and how do you do this and how you do that, you know, people were saying that I was standing with that company. I don't know anything about that company. I don't know anything about the publicity of that company. I don't know what they stand for. I don't know what they don't stand for. I'm not a political conversational um, extremist channel where we talk about, you know, things like that. <laughs> I'm just me. Look. I'm Homestead Tessie. I'm just me. I was just sharing that, hey, you know, form your own opinion. If you like the product, you know, I don't have a problem with it, but I realize I can't do that. I realize that freedom of speech is, people want to say that they don't get freedom of speech and they want to say things, you know, and they say they don't get freedom of speech, but yet those same people don't allow us, like me, to have freedom of speech. And because I was saying that I have no problems with this company and all of a sudden then I was attacked and where's my freedom of speech? You know, I was just saying, Hey, I like this. And you know, I shouldn't have done the video. I, I shouldn't have. I just didn't think I, <laughs> I just didn't think. And so my videos are going to be about me. I know nothing. The title of this video is I know nothing. I don't know nothing about controversy. I don't know anything about you know, conspiracy. 
we can think all the conspiracy. I, I have co some conspiracy thinking in my own heart and about things, but I don't know. And then when I get on the camera and I just share a, a positive video where I'm saying I've had chickens for 12 years, I like these pellets, they worked great, boom, I was attacked like you would not believe. I was attacked and saying that I was this and saying I was that and unbelievable, absolutely so unbelievable that I said, you know what, it ain't worth it to me. It just is simply not worth it to me. I thought, okay, well, I do a video out every single day. I thought, well, maybe one day a week I could do what other channels do. Like I could sit down and explain my thinking and, you know, where I think, well, that doesn't work. <laughs> because unless I think 100% agree with some of these other people or some of this other, then I'm attacked. And I simply was not being controversial. I was just saying, buyer beware video beware beware of the videos that you watch and don't always go for the clickbait don't always go for that and i was just stating that in general i was not meaning anybody i've had some experiences recently that really opened my eyes to how people can be that i did not realize and i just oh it opened my eyes to like i'm just gonna be me with myself and i in my little homestead <laughs> I'm laughing because it was very sad, it was very frustrating, but I'm laughing because it's just so superficial. And like to attack me and attack anybody who liked chicken pellets from a certain company was absolutely ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. Some channels that are larger, some channels that are, you know, medium size or even smaller, they thrive on that. They like it. They like the back and forth. And that's what gives your channel a lot of traction. Because in YouTube, they say, have all the comments, let them all bicker with each other. Yes, yeah, sit back, let them bicker. And all of the comments produces a lot of action on your channel. It makes your channel grow. Hello, I'm not that way. I am not going to make a channel to make videos, to have pe people bicker back and forth. So my channel, channel becomes drama. Ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. I took the video down. I could have left it up and it would have got more views and people would have been bickering back and forth and oh, life is just too short to be worrying about such things. Now, with that being said, I don't know about companies. I don't know about mainstream news. I don't know about other news. I don't know about, so I go on and I talk about, hey, this is so-and-so company. And then all of a sudden people bombard me and say, you can't say that company. That company does this, that company does not. I had no clue, I don't know. I'm just a little Mennonite girl in the country. Well, I'm not quite Mennonite-y, Mennonite-y. Well, you know what I mean. I don't know about these things, you know? I don't know about the basket company from who knows where that did you know what. I don't know about the pellets from the company of you know who, who does know what and everybody's saying different things about them. I don't know. I'm not a controversial channel. I was just sharing, oh my goodness. I was just sharing my heart and just saying that, you know, if you buy these pellets and you like them and they work good for you, you know, I was just saying it. So I came to the conclusion, I'm not speaking about anything that has to do with anything that has to do with anything. <laughs> if you want my opinion, you can email me. So how about we do that? If you want my opinion, we, you can email me. I just felt like last night, I, I, I felt in my heart, it was like, are you kidding me? Where is my freedom of speech? Why can't I say that I enjoy this or I enjoy that without being attacked? Where's, where is the, you can say freedom of speech all you want if it's something that's your platform, but what happens if somebody else has a different opinion and they had a good experience with something and you don't agree with that, so you go and you attack them. You, you get all of your little people to come over and attack them. You know, I don't, I don't understand it. And then the people that were agreeing with me and saying yes they like this and then they were being attacked and it was like are you i just 
I know we live in a world that's just so different and YouTube has changed so much through the years and it's sad to see it change. I, it's sad to see people that are doing this, but I know why they're doing it. I totally understand it. There are many reasons why they're doing it, but my reason isn't their reasons. I was just sharing my heart and my life and just sharing I like something, but I got to be careful what I share I like because then they say, you know, I'm this and that because I like... So what we're going to do is we come to a agreement. I'm going to be Homestead Tessie, Mobile Home Life. I'm going to talk about low income. I'm going to talk about doing things without money. I'm going to talk about my life when it involves me, <laughs> just me, no companies or nothing else. I'm not going to talk about anything controversial when it comes to the world news or what is happening or what they say is happening or what they say is going to happen. And I'm going to just focus on my little homestead. If that means my channel won't gain traction and I won't have the bickering back and forth with people and the, oh my word, then that's not going to happen. And that's fine. I'll stay at 82,000 subscribers and not get to my 100,000 to have all that. I, I can't, I can't stand that. That's not me. I don't know how people can handle that. I can't. There are many people, even that I call my friends, who they have large channels and she just says what she wants to say and and then doesn't worry about it. I take everything personally and I don't like it. I don't like it when people are going back and forth and just causing such a chaotic stress. I don't like it. Just take a little benign video of sharing what I enjoy from a company that is a, you know, a big company and then people twisting it and throwing the mud at me. It ain't happening. Not on my channel. I'm not like that. I'm not strong enough. And that is not my personality. Take care, everyone. And we'll see you guys again tonight. Bye, everybody.